the number of multiracial Americans is up 33% since 2000. Experts say it's bound to shake up a nation used to measuring everything from school achievement to voting trends in single race terms. So what am I? I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, a friend. I'm multiracial. My existence challenges racial perceptions and boundaries. Different racial and cultural groups see multiracialism differently. For some whites, multiracial represents the pollution of the white race. For some blacks, multiracial represents an attempt to escape blackness. And for some Asians, Latinos, or Arabs, multiracial can be seen as ill-equipped to perpetuate cultural traditions and therefore represents the dilution of that particular culture. Obama's election, his campaign as well, brought a lot of attention to multiraciality in the United States. So in addition to the debates about, well, but he's just as much white as he is black, that then raises the issue of, well, what is he? President Obama is a really good example of, in some ways, the role of socioeconomic status or social status more generally, power, position, in affecting how someone is seen. Nobody is ready to claim um, O.J. Simpson as being part white because Obviously, he has a much more checkered past. I think it would be a lot easier if there was a box that chose either than other biracial. I think there should be a box that checks biracial. I think it'd be easier for the children when they get older. Uh, so, you know, depending on what school they go to, if they choose African American, you know, look at Dublin. He's gonna check the box African-American and he's about as white as I am. You know, the teacher, you're not only gonna have the teacher, you're gonna have the principal, you're gonna have the counselor. He's not African-American. If there was a box that said biracial, people would think, oh, yeah, he could be biracial. And I think that's what we need.